This video is going to be about the box form. And this is going to be how to draw it and how not to draw it. So there are some basic concepts you need to know. You need to know how to draw three types of box. One is the one-sided box. Two is the two-sided box. And three is, of course, the three-sided box. Okay, and you'll notice that this has one side, this has two sides, this has one, two, and three. So, you're going to have to be able to do all three of those because they all have different uses and different purposes. Your one-sided box is almost always a great background compositional element. Your two-sided box is how you're going to draw a lot of perspective. And objects are your three-sided box. Um, the more sides you show, the more dimensions something has. Simple rule of thumb. So, I'm going to show you how to do this correctly, and I'm going to show you how to do it incorrectly as well. So, let's start with the, the one-sided box. I don't think it needs any sort of further in instruction, other than that you can just change proportions. They can be narrow, they can be big, small, whatever. Another thing that you need to know is when you draw this shape, you see how I've left this gap here? Don't do that. When you draw a shape, you want to go from these open shapes and you just want to close them. And it's okay if you go a little bit further out, but it's not okay to leave a gap. Otherwise, the shape kind of will have problems later. Now, your two-sided box, I like to start with the vertical. And what I'm going to do from there is draw triangles. And I'm going to draw triangles in either direction. And then at any point on this triangle, I can just cut the box off. And then I go back one more time and just emphasize the box. Now, if I want to combine other component skills, I can give this front corner of the box more emphasis. And I can put a little bit of dark shadow type things on the bottom. Um, so that's your two-sided box. Here's how not to do a two-sided box. What you don't want is a two-sided box with a flat shape on top because when you draw that it looks like a very strange box because you're lined up with the top. So don't do that line up, right? It has to be triangles. You're essentially basically taking a vertical and stacking two triangles, right? The other thing not to do is to draw one triangle and draw a triangle with the point at a different line. Now this works, it still looks dimensional. Um, in a certain sense, but it's a little bit odd, right? You'll notice that this box feels a little off, a little weird, a little strange compared to this one, which looks more comfortable, I guess. And that's because that this line that runs through is basically perpendicular to the verticals, okay? Um, so don't do this this sort of works and then definitely don't do something where the triangles go in the direction that you don't mean mean for them to. If you want to do the inside corner of a two-sided box you can do triangles like that that kind of can help you with the corner of a room um, but that's more of a perspective thing than a box drawing thing. Um, Let's move on to the three-sided box because that's more powerful and a little more challenging. So on a two-sided box, you have two triangles and two sides. Three-sided box, you're gonna have four triangles. 
And with this, what I would recommend is start with your vertical. And then for a two-sided box, this angle has to be bigger than 90 degrees when you go off the top. So you're going to draw a triangle. And when you first do this, I would recommend actually drawing the triangle out. This triangle is going to run off the page. I'm going to run that triangle up, change the angle so it'll look a little more comfortable. Now, I have my, my triangle. I'm going to cut my sides off. And then I'm going to draw another triangle in either direction. So I'm going to go from here to here. And I'm going to go, this triangle meets somewhere out here-ish. So I'm going to go out there and approximate where that's going to go. And now I have a three-sided box. And if I just want to emphasize that, I can increase some line weight in the front, start dark, fade it as I go back. A technical tip when you're drawing is you're going to use a very faint line. So your first initial lines should look probably like that, which you can probably just barely see on video if you can see it at all. That's ideal. When you draw like that, you can make adjustments. You can swing your lines out and around, and then you can come back later with the line that you actually want. And all of this will kind of disappear. Now, there's a lot of ways to kind of mess this up. One way to mess up the three-sided box is when these triangles go out in space and they meet, if the triangle points meet on a different horizontal line, right? So there's one horizontal line here and there's one horizontal line here. They don't meet up. Then your, your box will still look dimensional, but there will be something about it that's off that you just kind of can't put your finger on. And in the trenches, this probably doesn't matter too much. However, it's something to be aware of as a potential mistake that you might that you might make and not realize it. Okay? So, dimensional but odd. Okay? The absolute thing to not do is to not draw a triangle. So if you go this direction and this direction, these will never meet to become a triangle. And sometimes you see it on one side of the box, but then other times the other side of the box will go triangular. And then you'll see this a lot where these make a triangle, those make a triangle, but then this one line kind of goes off on its own. Okay, so this is no, don't do that. The more common one is because people are comfortable with two-sided boxes, you see the triangle going out here, the triangle going out here, and then the top goes off on its own, where they don't really make triangles. This one is way more common, you see this a lot, and it feels like the the back of it is kind of peeling up. Okay, so again, this one is a big time now. The one that you rarely see, but some people do, some people have done this in my classes, is um, you intend to draw a box, but the triangles all go in the wrong direction. They don't, the triangles come to points this way instead of this way. This one's really hard to draw. So instead of drawing a box with this being the front and outside corner, it's almost like you're looking upwards into the corner of a room and it feels really strange. So this is the ultimate no. This is a minor no. This is a minor no. This is a minor no. And like you can kind of tweak and fix things from here. All it takes to fix these things is to make a triangle, right? And to do that, to do that. Now, if you're having trouble with this, you can back up and use the wireframe method to do this. And I'll show you the wireframe method for box construction. There are times 
when if you're really having trouble getting a handle on this, you're going to actually draw every single side of the box back in front. And that really means that you're going to have to draw light to construct this. I'm going to draw a little bit darker so you can actually see it and it'd be a little bit confusing. What I need to do is start with the front of the box, out to my triangle, out to my triangle over here. Then I need to pick my sides, go out to the triangle, out to the triangle, and then I need to draw the bottom and back. So I know that the back of the box is going to go here. I need to go out to the triangle, out to the triangle. Okay. So this is a lot more work. It's a lot more complicated. And what I'm doing is I'm adding the bottom and the back two sides. And so I'm actually drawing a fully six-sided box. This one can be useful if you need to place something back here. Like if I need to put a cylinder back here, I can easily know exactly where that cylinder is going to go. Right? Because I know that the cylinder doesn't intersect the back of the box. And if I have to derive shadows, that also helps me derive shadows. Like if my shadow is going back this direction, I know that it hits the cylinder here, right? And it's going to come up the cylinder, right? And then I know that that's going to stretch along the cylinder and round out this way. And the cylinder is going to have its shadow coming up here, right? So I can derive very complicated sort of shadow situations by drawing through everything with this kind of wire frame idea. And this is what 3D modeling software does anyway. So at any rate, this is kind of what you need to do if you're having a lot of trouble seeing this. Um, it's not something that you're going to use. Eventually, you're going to drop these huge triangles and you're just going to go like this. Okay, because you'll just kind of know and you'll develop this instinct and you don't necessarily have to take it any further than this. You want to pay attention to this angle right here and on a two-sided box, same thing. That angle can never be like under 90 degrees. I'll show you what I mean. So if I would draw a box and this right here is a 90 degree angle. That's about 90 degrees. This is really close to looking distorted. Okay. Because you're seeing this. Now, what happens is if I go under 90 degrees, things start to look really, really strange. Okay, this is definitely distorted. And this is kind of where you'd almost want to go into three-point perspective and start doing things like this, right? Because this angle has shifted past 90 degrees. And that works for two-sided boxes too. If you're drawing a two-sided box and this angle goes past 90 degrees, it's going to look strange. Okay, so that's just something to pay attention to is this angle right here has to be 90 degrees or bigger. And uh, that's it for how to draw a single box correctly.